Okay, Pinehurst. That was what my father named the ranch, Pinehurst. Um, there was another ranch connected to it, divided by a county road that was called Palmyra. And there I am with, on my father's horse. The horse's name was Ken, and my father was just devoted to him, absolutely devoted to him. You look like you're about... Three. 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 Happy as a clam. <laughs> if you and my father had wound up together, you'd have had horses. Oh, gosh, we had I, horses. I, I don't know who's swinging the camera around. Well, probably my mother. <laughs> but now Ken will follow him. It was, um, we had over 300 acres of fruit trees and lots and lots of dogs. And this was the house where we were living when I was born, which was across the street from the house that we ultimately moved to. And this is still the ranch, so that's one of the places that he goofed a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Where was the ranch? It's near Auburn, um, and it's it's still there. It's still painted the same color. It was bought ultimately by a company whose name I do not know in Los Angeles, and they used it for R and R for their employees. Oh. Hmm. It was a big house, big Victorian house, single story Victorian house. Beautiful condition, too. Yes, and a big lawn, and um, <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen was always in dresses, of course, and uh, <clears throat> we had a lot of setters at that point, Irish setters. I love the hair. Straight. Mm. Friend of so, my father's from Boston, who used to visit, his name was Dick Ives and his wife, Maud, and um, they used to come out about once a year. Oh. Patient mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> very, very patient. And chickens? Chickens, oh yeah. Chickens. No we had a cow. Uh, Turkeys, chickens, oh, no, naughty little girl, naughty, yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you talking to me? I wonder where Iris gets it. I wonder. Mm, don't do that. Mm. Very bad. Very bad. That's my mother huh? with more dogs. Those were outdoor dogs. Beautiful shape. Yeah, they were pretty spoiled. Mm. Pretty spoiled. She didn't like the little no, one. she didn't. I don't know why. <laughs> so this was nineteen, still nineteen. Nineteen twenty-seven, still. <clears throat> I think possibly the camera was new, so he was taking a lot of pictures. I wonder if he ever thought in two thousand nine people would be watching. I don't think he ever imagined. Oh yeah, this was a big deal. We would go up on weekends and he'd ride all around the ranch and talk to the manager and so forth. And so when he was there on weekends, he had this big thing with the feeding the dogs out of this big enameled pan. My God, look at them all. Oh yeah. 
he thought there weren't, he had to have about 12 dogs, 8 or 12 dogs, to really be, feel that we had a proper number. We had one house dog that lived in Sacramento with us, but these were all outside dogs. Oh, and it's being still pictured too. Yeah, that's Dick Ives in the background. And the cats were really wild. Just wild. I wish your dad would take his hat off. Oh, he never took his hat off. He was bald. Oh, my father. Mm -hmm. Now, there's my pony, whose name was Buster. And, um, oh, he was a stubborn little beast. <laughs> <laughs> he was marvelous. He was just marvelous, but he was, oh, he was stubborn. Mm. Interesting markings. Pinto. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> These are the Chinese gentlemen who um, did not speak. One of them spoke English. The rest of them spoke no English at all, and they lived in a uh, in a big old two-story house on the ranch, and worked the fruit trees, did all the pruning and the spraying, and the. Uh, they lived alone. Their wives were all back in China, mm -hmm. and there was no furniture in this house. No furniture. None. None. Wow. Turkeys. turkeys. Not wild. Those are domestic, domestic turkeys. turkeys. And they're just, you know, definitely free range. <laughs> they were penned up at night because the coyotes, yeah. coyotes, coyotes would get them. And this is obviously winter time. Yeah, we've got a lame one there because um, the trees are all bare. Well, we have, he, he's, he's advertising. Now, I'm a little, I'm a little older now. And I did love all those animals. I just... <laughs> and I was terribly indulged, I realized. <laughs> More? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Well, for all intents and purposes, you were an only child. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, now there, oh. that St. Bernard puppy was given to me. This is, this is Margaret. Her name was Margaret Allen. She was a Cockney, and uh, she was at the ranch uh, or came to the ranch at the same time that my father bought it. He bought it before he was married to my mother. And I adored that dog. I that's know. the puppy that's grown that's up. That's the puppy. He hadn't grown up yet. He's still a puppy. Oh. <laughs> and um, he just, he was a wonderful, wonderful dog. You figured out the spoon routine. Fabulous dog. So sweet. Margaret was a character. Just a, she had a real Cockney accent. Mm, she was something else. Who was that with her? Uh, that's Maud Ives, the uh, oh, the Look wife of the. Oh. I know. And that's Joe. He was a Portuguese man, and he he managed the the house area and the, all the planting and the stuff around the house. Joe Acevedo, I think his name was. He had a little cottage on the place and um, of course I wasn't permitted to go in his cottage at all. But he was he was totally indulgent. 
he let me watch him one day when he was um, killing a chicken, cutting the chicken's head off. That was an interesting experience. Yeah. Maud Ives again. Buster. Buster. That must be my mother's horse. What's the pony's name? Buster. Buster, that's right. <clears throat> now they're spraying the fruit trees uh, for um, a dormant spray in the winter time. And I realize now that this is, you know, lethal, lethal stuff. Mm -hmm. And these men just were exposed to it all the time. It just, I mean, today it curls my toes to think about it. And this spray machine was hauled around by two uh, relatively small uh, draft horses. There's a little beagle. There's Dick Ives again with... Oh, he gets to take home a little Christmas tree. <laughs> Old friend of my father's from Boston. My grandmother. Nice Your great-grandmother. Which one? Right there. No, I mean, what's, what was her name? Oh, Greg. Isabel Greg. That's Isabel. That's she Isabel. Her house in uh, San, Fr San Francisco. Oh yeah, I lived. I oh, lived with yeah. her. My mother she and I lived with like her nice during the war. She was wonderful. She really was. This is this is fourteen twenty two. This is where we lived before we moved across the street. And I think this is where the Easter party was that they were talking about. But now that's where that's we across moved the across the street. That's fourteen forty one. We took some pictures of that. The it last still time we looks were the same, Sacramento. I think, yes. except that there's a fence around it now. That's my mother. Looks just like my sister. And. And. I thought it was which is which? Huh? Your mother. My mother's on the right. In the white. And there's my father. Oh, without a sense. See, he one? was he. The other lady was, you know. A friend of theirs. I can't give you her name. This is an Easter party that we had. All these children who are in this Easter party I grew up with from this age on up through high school. I love the clothes. Aren't they wonderful? <gasps> oh my god. Aren't they wonderful? There's one lady in here. Some Most of them are gone. But there's one lady in here. His name is Louise. There's Louise. Oh, okay. Louise Gard, she's, um, she lives up in San Mateo now, but she and I still see each other. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's really the only one that's left from this age group. Wow. Everybody else is gone. Is that there were any that you were still in touch with? Oh, look at the sailor's outfit. I know. Those were twins, George and Van McKee. Both of them gone. Both of them gone. Um, but, but the little girl's haircuts. I know. All the same. All the same. All bowl. Mm. <laughs> and Louise's bow. Oh. <laughs> I'm the one in the hat. Oh. Because it's your party. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. And I, I, I knew. I knew all these. All these children for look at the twins, <laughs> typical. Who's the each other, other boy there? The other boy is Stanley Hart, who he's lived next door. He comes in later with the broom. Remember? Mm -hmm. You'll see him with a broom. I love Louise. Isn't oh she? God. Isn't she a kick? There you go. And we had a bunny, of course, oh. because it was Easter. How old are you on this one? That was, looks like this is before the other. It one. does. 
It does. Uh, Three? Probably. I would say probably we got the camera in 1927, and so those are the most pictures. Somebody's nursed. Mine. And that's the cook. Who was the nurse? I don't remember. Mm. I just don't remember. My mother never took care of anybody. And I can say that in all honesty. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I think that was very common for women it was. who had money. Well, you, her, you didn't. My father was 15 years older than my mother when she was married. When oh, they were look. married. Yeah. Oh, on a horse. Your... And that's before I had Buster. So I, you know, came by it early. That's Suzanne. Bill will remember Suzanne. It's a little... <laughs> oh, merry-go-round. The, all these mm -hmm. toys were mine. God. I think we met Suzanne. Mm-hmm. I know you she did. She lived in Carmel. Yep. Yeah. Somebody stayed at her house for Pop's party. Oh, I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Stayed at Marilyn's house. Oh, okay. Not Suzanne's house. Okay. No, no she wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's overwhelming. Oh, look at that. Oh. Mm. Well, do rabbits ever bite? Yes. Oh. Well, I guess that one didn't. Now, you see the broom here and this little boy whose name is Stanley Hart. He did live next door. A few days after this, we took that broom and we painted my father's car <laughs> with house paint that was in the garage. Oh, it looks like we're back up at the ranch. Now, there's Buster. There's Buster saddled and uh, some young guy. I think that's my brother-in-law. John? No, Frank. Frank, Frank, I'm sorry. Oh, here we are. Now I'm actually getting to ride Buster. You're a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, I'm about wow, eight, him, maybe. Make him go, make him go. I'm surprised he didn't buck you off. Oh, no, he never did that. <laughs> he never did that. Whoa! <laughs> Now, this used to drive me crazy because I wanted to go out and ride my pony wherever I wanted to go. And I wasn't permitted to do this. They had to follow me in an old pickup because he had a tendency to run away with me on a steadily, steady basis. Buster did? Buster used to run away with me all the time. <laughs> and uh, so they followed me. And just wanted to know where you went. I know, all. but it just used to drive me nuts. Now this was the little dog. This is Sugar, a little black cocker who lived in Sacramento with us. He was a sweet dog. Now, here are the two horses that pulled the wagon the spray machine through the orchard but when they were not working they were in a small corral in another area on the ranch and I would take friends up there and uh, we would get on them because they were gentle and had a nice wide back and we'd ride them around this corral ring and pretend we were circus riders. <laughs> so we'd stand up and, you know, we'd do all these things. And they would put up with us for just so long. And then there was a big buckeye tree that hung over the corral fence. And they would just walk under the buckeye tree and wipe <laughs> us off. It was wonderful. Crash.
Oh, we're feeding feeding chickens, chickens and again. Again, those and were the best fed chickens. <laughs> and then we're then we're going to pick the chickens up and put them on top of Buster, who was also pretty indulgent most of the time. <laughs> and the chicken eat the eats the corn now off the top of Buster. And uh, the hands on the hip. Isn't it wonderful? I mean, this is mine. Yeah. This is mine. I, I own this. This is mine. I am the mistress of all. Chicken on pony. <laughs> Leg up. <laughs> you scratch your I, You look like you're maybe 10. You think? Oh, yeah. It could be. I could guess be. more 10. So that would be about 34. Yeah. See, I can take the bit off. I can take the halter off, the whole, the bridle, the whole thing. I could saddle him too, but I never was able to get the saddle tight enough because you have to cinch it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he would take a deep breath <laughs> while I was cinching it up, and then he'd oh, and go, and then the saddle would Well, fall. Brownie used to do the same thing on Round Hill. Yes, he did. Ponies have a way of doing that. But he was a sweet little guy. Ah, now this is a trip down to Yosemite. Angel. And I remember that. Angel Hair Falls? I think that's Yosemite Falls. Hmm. And um, we stayed at the Iwani Hotel. And that must have been quite a trip. It was a lovely trip. It was very, very lovely. When you see what they rode in, yes, it was quite a trip. <laughs> My mother and I are on the bridge and Dad is saying, wave, wave. This is a movie. This is a movie. Do something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Didn't spend all this money for you to stand still. That's half gnome. Must have been spring. Mm -hmm. mm. Because the rivers are really, uh, really okay. running. Sorry. No, you have to put your foot up. There I'm you going go. Ah, just... uh, now, who's in charge here? <laughs> now this is before the scene that we just saw with Brownie. You think? Because you look younger. No, there. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, the attitude is the same. Oh yeah. <laughs> and there's my mother with her hat. What? Oh yeah, well we have a few bears and things. Oh, you were you were in the car, I guess. I certainly. I so. I I'm so. assuming so. <laughs> That's why she's still here. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at the car. Oh, Isn't that oh. marvelous? Isn't that marvelous? Do you think that's 1934? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's early, early 30s with that car. All right. I didn't know what kind of it was. Well, my father always drove a Lincoln, so if it was our car, it was probably a Lincoln. A Lincoln? Could be. Mm. I don't know, but what is he in? Because he's taking it from something. I don't know. Something on the back. That may have been the car in front of us. Who stayed behind and took the picture? Well, that's know. what I was trying to figure out. I don't know. Mm. They're different cars. Mm-hmm. People fed them all the time. And That's, a different falls. That's a different falls. Um, Bridal Veil. Bridal Veil Falls. It had to be spring. Oh, I love this one. Posing. This is still there at the, in Yosemite? Yes, we're still in Yosemite. Still half dome. Mm -hmm. 
still there. Still looks the same. <laughs> now look at this. Deer. Ooh, look at this. At least you know how to grow up a wild animal. Honey, I knew everything about animals. Yeah. I really, yeah. really did. They didn't mind you one little bit. No. Mm -mm. I think that's pretty special. Mm -hmm. I do too. All right. Here's beloved 1441. Now my parents have gone to Europe, which the East Coast and Europe, which they did every year on a business trip for my father. And um, now see, this says only eighth 34. And I don't know. You I don't. It wasn't your eighth birthday in 34. No, it wasn't. It was my tenth. But anyway, there I am. Now my sister took pity on me because she thought my parents shouldn't have been gone over my birthday. So she decided to give a party, a birthday party. Now these are all the same people who came to the Easter party in 1927. And there's my sister in the background. And there's Kathleen. Being cute. Being cute. And, um, and this was a great, great party. I mean, she really knocked herself out for this party. Now, how much older is Edith than you? She Edith? was nine years older than I. So she's 19, 19. and I'm 10. And there's one of the twins. <laughs> I don't know what this was. I have no idea. But anyway, well, there's it's Edith. Singing so spoon race. Yeah, it's a spoon. Well, whoever the winner was. Whatever. There's George McKee. Oh, now we're going to have the big... I don't know. And Edith's running right <laughs> out. <laughs> but she was so... She, was, she really was very dear. She was good to me. Mm. That's because she was bigger and senior. Uh, do you realize that the boys have plus fours? Yes. They're wearing plus fours. What's plus fours? Plus fours are. Uh, Was that the pants? Short yes, pants, the pants yes, with with golf with, pants. The, with, yeah, with exactly. Yes, with elastic mm -hmm. or ties around. They hook right below your knee. Yeah. And they hang down like you picked up long pants and tucked on her. Really now, buckle your knickerbocker. Now this is this is a, this is a, a a cardboard concoction in the middle of the table, with ribbons that go to everybody's place, and you pulled the ribbon and you got a little favor. Oh. Um, she did go all out. Oh she, she. Oh she. This was at our house, fourteen forty one, and um. And the hats. Oh the hats the. Poppers, the, I mean, it was the whole shebang. Just look at that thing. Yeah. <coughs> it was, it was remarkable. It's a wasp pin pinata. <laughs> yes, yes, you're right, it was. It definitely was. The food must be good, they're all sitting there very quiet. I, I, can't, I can't remember the food, but I certainly, now, oh, now we cake. have the birthday oh, cake. And you're cutting it before blowing out the candles. Yeah. Oh, there's Miss Iris's smile. Yes! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm so cute. <laughs> yes, it's my birthday. So funny. I'm adorable. It's so funny. All these children. Mm. Pretty nice pictures for inside. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Ah, now I've graduated from Buster. And I have a new horse now, which I was given at Christmas time. Shall I go turn down the artichokes a little? Oh yes, thank you. Down to mid, between medium and low. 
Yes, thank you. And she really, oh, she was a lovely creature. Just a lovely creature. It says you're eight then. Well, I was not eight. I was about oh, thirty. Ten, I mean. Uh, ten. No, I wasn't ten. Because I was maybe twelve. It said thirty-four, but I, I don't think. I don't think it was thirty-four either. Well, then you have to. But you home. know, it's close enough. Okay, now here's the manager of the ring. Everybody gets to ride my new horse, <laughs> which really kind of ticked me off. But that's right. But this is the manager of the ranch, uh, Mr. Lachlan. Very nice man. Very nice man. And I had no choice in this horse. My father picked her out, and she had been, uh, she had been um, a trotter on the on the racetrack. Oh. And uh, so she was being retired. I'm sure he got her for a good price. But um, she had one fault. She wanted to be ahead. Mm. If I was riding her alone, there was absolutely no problem at all. She was marvelous. She'd go anywhere, do anything, my sister and her dog. And, um, but if there were two horses or more, she had to be ahead. Now, see, she's really pushing it here. <laughs> she's ahead, just a little bit. Yeah, but he's got her really reined in. Yeah. Anyway, ah, my father's Doberman Pinscher. Anyway, now, she's been on the ranch for a while and not ridden much, and she's been outside and she's all faded out, <laughs> and she's gotten too fat. <laughs> But anyway, she was a great horse, and I had her until my father died. Aha! Now we move to... We move really ahead here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting a horse, now I've got a kid. I know. <laughs> and there's this big blank in between, oh, and you. there is your son. Oh, my God. Yeah. And Doug. Just can't yeah, see in Doug. here. He's just not here yet. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he's, oh, look at you. He's so shy. And who is that young man? Who is that handsome man? Who yeah. is that handsome young man? Mm. Been so long ago, I forgot. I know. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> I did it, I did it. <laughs> oh, he was so sweet. What a sweet young guy he was. Just no, he's a sweet old guy. So dear. Just... Uh, mm. Oh. oh Flyshacker. You know, yes, Flyshacker, and they don't have that anymore. Flyshacker? What's that? That was the zoo. The San Francisco Zoo was called Flyshacker Zoo. Very close to oh. And house. you know, you're a brave little thing. To get in this car and have the door closed and go roundy round. Mm. He still likes to do the merry go round. Mm -hmm. the Karis, the, whatever it is. Ferris, Ferris wheel. wheel. I knew I'd come up with the word. Oh, you walked down from the house, didn't you? Mm mm. Oh, you drove? No, we had to get on the bus. Oh. Look at this. Oh my God. Mm. Little coat. Love and... the pants. Short. Oh, nice or long. Uh, remember this? Is, hmm? This is nice the train. origin of my love of trains. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's just a little miniature um, mm -hmm. steam engine, and it's so cute. <clears throat> it looks identical to the one up until the. I'm sure. It may be the same one. It, it could, could be. be. Good looking train. Because they don't have it at Flashacker anymore. Uh, now, <sighs> these are your cousins, Leslie Ann. And John, center, my sister's two children. We, we put in uh, CO2 cartridges. CO2 cartridges. Punched yeah. the hole. And some of them worked some, and some of them Some of them went and some of them That really worked. I remember this. Do you really? Oh, they were, oh, they were fun. Yeah, stretch a string out. It had two uh -huh. little... There he is. Oh, God. Is that cute or that what? That is Will. 
Is that cute? Oh, there we are, Bernie. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, Haddon Drive. Haddon Drive, yeah. That was a nice house. 101 what town? San Mateo. San Mateo. Where your brother Douglas Our, was born. Douglas was born, yes. Our what? friends Carl and Hudson? Helen Fuller. No. Our friends Carl and Helen Fuller, who lived down the block, were the ones who were responsible for getting us here. I'm in the dark coat and the preggy dress. I'm on the left. Carl and Helen are on the right. <laughs> I'm saying, don't take my picture. So Douglas was born in... That was a good house. When we lived in this house. Carl and Helen lived down the block. And um, we were there for three years, I think. Something like that. Yeah. We planted some flowers or veggies in the backyard. I, I had to take a pick and a hammer to drill, drill a hole. Oh, oh, oh. This used to be a salt flat. Here's oh. San Francisco from Twin Peaks. Yep. Oh, wow. In 1940... Something or other. Seven or forty-eight. Doesn't look like that anymore. Complete with the fall. You see the Bay Bridge, Just the Bay Bridge and right. then you get all the way around to the Golden Gate. What? There's no Transamerica Tower. No. Or is that? No, um, that's Coit Tower. Is that Coit Tower? That's right? Coit Tower, yeah. right, right, right there. Right there. Yeah. right there. That's Coit Tower, there's and the there's Bridge. Golden no, Gate. Francisco. Golden Gate Bridge. That looks the same. Yeah. All right. Now this is a trip. <laughs> this is a trip to uh, North Carolina in the Smokies mm -hmm. in the spring, and I want to tell you that stream was icy cold. And there's Douglas who couldn't wait to go and get wet in his little underpants, <laughs> and we have Holly with us. And it was cold, but it was it was pretty. It was very. Oh, we got snowflakes one night. Didn't oh, that we? was up on the ridge on the way home. Oh, it was still it was the same area. Yeah, same no, trip. Heat, same trip. Heat same trip. canned beans or something for oh, supper. Oh God, night. it was so cold. Oh man, that was awful. I remember it. Playing with fire. Playing with fire, of course. <laughs> what? Yeah. Who? What? Who me? <laughs> this old heavy. Ex army tent. Mm. Well, that was a toughie. We had fun. Well, at least we're on a platform. We had fun. We really did have fun. And Dad decided to shave. Mm. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> what can I say? What can you say? Mmm. We had lots of fun on those camping trips. We they did. really they're, they're did. They're baseboard. A lot of work, but that's when you yeah. younger, so it's all right. The ubiquitous paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm still shaving. You know, I think I still have that check tablecloth. <laughs> I know I do. I think we do. I know I do. Yes, we do. Probably. That's our picnic tablecloth. That's our picnic tablecloth. They last for 100 years. A little trip to him, you know, a little waterfall someplace. Same old area. Mm. Yeah, I remember that trip, and I can remember Pop driving <coughs> down the road with the with the the window down so we could follow the white line. Oh, because it was so foggy. It was terrible. It was terrible. Now this. I think I've made a mistake earlier. I think this is a trip to New England. I think this is because we're going to see we're going to see this Boston is, pretty soon. This, this is I think kettle? this is I think this is Vermont or New Hampshire. Wasn't Baxter? Because they had the Oh no 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 no. There no. was something like this at Baxter. No, Baxter's something else again. No, no. I, this is because I'll tell you what's coming up next is the Constitution. Uh -huh. mm. So this is this is Vermont or New Hampshire. This is Smuggler's Notch or something like 
something oh, we similar. Did go through smugglers yeah, we did. Didn't we? Yeah, we did. We took. Some, well, you see, here's the here's the log jam up in um, in Kennebec in Maine. There we go. So it, this was a New England trip. Mm. I'm we sorry. Kind of jumped it, around a little bit. It wasn't. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't the North Carolina trip. This is New England. We took an awful lot of camping trips, so we did. I could be forgiven for mixing them up. Oh yeah, <laughs> we certainly did. But see, yeah, here's the Constitution. 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 Okay. So we're back in Boston now. Yep. And money. Your grandmother Wagoner is staying home and taking care of Scott. Hmm. I wondered where Scott was. Yeah. Well. He was home, and money was there. Having a ball. Bless her heart. So when do you suppose this was? 54, 55? Oh, no, no, Scott no, no. was born in... 53. 53, so this has got to be... 55. Okay. That's what I said. You said 40-something. No, no, 54. 54. 54 55. Oh, I'm sorry. I turned it around in my head. Oh, look at the sailors. Yeah. You know, I'm wondering, can you do this on the Constitution anymore? Can you climb around you can. like that? Yeah. I, I think, think you can. can. It's still a museum. Okay. Oh, I love your outfit. I always... The sweater set. I never, ever... Wore pants. No. Unless it was blue jeans. Well, we didn't. You, you didn't. We didn't. Not to. We didn't. We had to wear dresses. My mother had a whole bunch of cotton dresses. Mm. Absolutely. I think they might have given up taking a constitution out and sailing it around. No, like they, they haven't. We no, saw something recently where they do it. They turn it around. They still do it. They do it right here. Right, Christmas. That's the yeah. one. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <clears throat> Look at you being cool. Looks like almost Because he's the oldest. Yeah. Oh, that's it's where he belonged. Sturbridge. <laughs> that Sturbridge is, Village. Oh, is Sturbridge, that Sturbridge? Sturbridge Village. Is Wright's Chris Mill on no, Sturbridge? No, I don't know, but Sturbridge? it was yes, Sturbridge it is. Village. That's right. Sturbridge. Yeah. Right, it's it is Sturbridge. There's the oxen. There's and the, oh, the covered the bridge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. We Maybe still go to Sturbridge. Oh, we love Sturbridge. I love and Sturbridge Holly? today. Yep, Holly, Holly. Except now you can't. You have to take a mortgage out to get into Sturbridge. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Like 30 really? bucks. Well, that's too bad. But, but I must... have to say, they have kept the place up. Well, it's still now, very interactive. look at that. Here is Scott Lawrence. In all his glory. On Round Hill Road. On Round Hill Road. And, and your sainted, sainted grandmother wagon. Now, there's something about Odrin that makes me think of Scott. At it's this age. the curly red uh, hair. And, well, and the fat and cheeks. The and, the, yeah. and the shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, you know, there's, there's some, there's some family resemblance there. Uh -huh. There really is. Is that the porch? Is that in front of the porch? There? That's the porch. That's the steps is. up to the... Oh, the steps up to the porch? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. A few, not many. <laughs> Scott. He was such a... Oh, you want an easy baby? <laughs> well, Scott. Oh, my God. That's Zoe. Okay. Now, this is Doug's birthday. And we've gone up to a little petting zoo in Norwalk. And Donnie Hennington, of course, is along. I think that's the only outside friend. There's Donnie. There's, There's Donnie. Donnie. There's Scott. He's maybe four? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. There's something there that has four legs, but... There's a couple of deer. Okay. Oh, look at Scott with the bunny. Mm. He still looks like that. I know he Little does. Kit. I know he does. Little Kit Fox. <laughs> Merry-go-round. 
Nice one, too. You wonder whatever happened to it. I wonder. I wonder. Mm. And you're getting there's tall. There's Will. Mm -hmm. There's Bill. And there's tall. Donnie. Mm -hmm. Doug with his thumbs in his hands. Mm. Donnie with the hands on the hip and Doug with his thumbs in his <laughs> You know, I have to say this, though. They were good kids. They all were. They were good kids. They really were. They mm -hmm. really were. We enjoyed a good wrestle every once in a while. Well, I know, and a good nosebleed and that kind of thing, but basically, I think you were good kids. Scott is just one to another. Oh, yeah, and then there was the kittens. <sighs> the unprepared for kittens. Mm. <laughs> Lord, we did have one of everything. Well, it came at the right time, though. Well, yeah. We got rid of them. Ugh. Oh. Heaven on earth. Heaven yeah, now we earth. need bagpipe music for the background. <laughs> now we do. We really, really do need that. Um, this was held... Always mm -hmm. on the f there's Douglas. On the Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Isn't that Jesse on the right? No, I think it's Tina. Okay. And a collie, which they had. Anyway, it was always held on the week the Fourth of July weekend, and so in June, the pipers would get out in the fields to start practicing. It was right behind our house. Where yeah. we live. And we could hear them. And they'd come kind of late in the day and they'd practice and I'd think, oh, I can hear pipes. I can hear pipes. Oh my gosh. It was so wonderful. And the square. It was so wonderful. Oh, I love pipes. I'm looking to see mm -hmm. if Mr. McAllister was <clears> there. <throat> Or Mr. McHale. I wouldn't. This is. This is in. You can uh, relax. There's a lot so. This is well, in the <laughs> early fifties. Early, early fifties. Mr. Mc, Mr. McHale lived I next go, to us, and he go was um. He chaired them for years. They were to play. They played this uh, game. Since the twenties, I think, in, in uh, it's the, still going on, but it's in Norwalk. It's not the start C A Moore place. No, it's in C A Moore's had them out there in the twenties. A girl pipe. And uh, they kept every year they'd come back, and we were lucky to be there for a while. Remember burning the fields off before oh, yeah. these? Clean before and yep. Fire department come out and burn even, off the field. Even so, I saw all kinds of people sitting up against the fence right in the poison ivy. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know how they made it out the next day, but I don't know why we did so much of this. You know, one or two would have been fine. Well, especially because there was no sound. No sound. Uh -huh. And nobody knew who they were. <coughs> well, that's why if I recognize my neighbor, at least we'll know one. You what? If if I recognize our neighbor, we'll at least know one. Okay. You you won't recognize him? I might. Okay. He was there? He was a piper okay. and he taught piping. He always marched the fields in back of us before the games. That's that's always nice. And that, that's when they're best out in the field, especially in the fog, it's magic. <laughs> it really is. It's it's great music. Yeah. Oh, the kids, our kids hate it. We used to drag them to piping things and they just, <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, I'm sorry you had to do your own. No, 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 I wanted to check the chokes. Okay. Not quite done yet, which is just perfect. Perfect, yeah. Look, look, oh, at, the, look at the legs on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, is this? Isn't it marvelous?
You skinny old bow legged things. <gasps> Bunky and Bunky Moore and current girlfriend. Really? Bunky Moore was Bettine's is no, was Bettine's uh, nephew. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> Did you ever know Bunky Moore? No, but we knew Bunky's sister. No, he didn't have a sister. Well, how, what was she? Mm -mm. Christine's friend. Mm -mm. Didn't Bunky go to Maine? Yes, but that was an Adams. Bunky Adams. Okay. Adams. It wasn't Bunky. Oh, my God. It was Tracy... <laughs> was that your friend? No, they didn't run. They did the caber. Oh, you did the caber? They, yeah, they played soccer. He must have been pretty, pretty husky. Oh, sword dance. I wish I could see the faces. This is now called the masked bands. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. all the bands who had competed in this contest at the end of the games... Got all got together and they marched down the field all playing the same tune and I'll tell you if you didn't have goosebumps it was pretty magic. you didn't have any yeah. Scottish in you anywhere Very <laughs> magic. Oh, it was wonderful it was absolutely wonderful mm. That's when I watched Braveheart for the first time I remembered a lot of that oh I found that very, because I watched it too. I wanted to see it. I thought it was extremely violent. Yes. Yes. And I but so were they. I know they were, but I guess that's something I didn't want to see. Yeah. Better to be prettied up. Yeah. yeah. Always. See, we never went to the games. My oh. father was always working. Gosh, they were so marvelous. They were so marvelous. And Miss, Mr. McHale would bring us back, or Mrs. McHale would bring us back Haggis as a treat. Well, you know, I had Haggis oh. recently. Now, that's Sandy Close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Douglas, of course. Trying to do something to Sandy he doesn't want done. Did he do the picture of the dog up here? He did. Yes. It says Drummond, which is his middle yeah. name. But, um. Now these bands came from all over the place. Oh, band. they did. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. It was Several a big, big, big thing. Though. They big still deal. do. Yeah, I guess so. We go to the Goshen um, Scottish Games, try to go there every year. It's the first Saturday in October. Oh, October? Yeah. And they come from all over. Wow. And a lot of the athletes do this for a living or something. I don't know. But they're in games all over the country. Everywhere, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and they all, they're required to wear a kilt. Absolutely. Did you see the pictures that came on the internet recently about what Scotsmen's wear under their kilt? No. Well, we've always I, known I, it was we, nothing, we, but we've never seen pictures of it before. Oh, really? I didn't send that to you? No. No? I, I will see if I you still have it. Okay. It's in there somewhere. Well, they wear um, spandex athletic They wear bike shorts. shorts. Biking shorts. Well, not these guys. These are in England, and they oh, don't well. wear nothing. All these guys out there on the field. <laughs> and remember? the wind was blowing, and there they I've are. I've got pictures of some of these guys. Do you um, remember Alec Duncan? Oh, sure. Yes. He wore World War One. Uh, he wore a kilt because he was in the Scottish Highlanders. Every time they had a rest, he was on a hillside, so they all had to sit with their feet down, spread out. And the, the sergeant would walk by and make sure that they were dressed properly. And the only time they allowed them to put undies on is when they got in around mustard gas. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> I never asked Mr. McHale what he wore under his I don't think he wore anything. Because I never, well, he was 
old when I was. Doesn't make any difference. I don't think no. they were anything. But I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have asked him because I was of little. Of course he you was wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. I would guess that these guys are properly dressed. But I would think so. Them. I would think so. My friend Victor Today, said no. that I don't know him well enough to find out. <laughs> oh, you, you you just have to imagine. Oh yeah. The sound. Oh, the sound yeah. was great. Involved with this, I mean, it just is so stirring. You cannot imagine. I have to see if I can. That's it. Yeah, that is wow. the that end of it. Good. See. Well, this is great good. because now I've got all this that, conversation isn't that all wonderful? recorded. And um, that's just so wonderful. I'm.